అద్భుతమైన నాట్య to the fifth day guest series of Guru Nataraja Ramakrishnam Sadasma Rami. Today we have a renowned guest speaker, a child prodigy, Natya Chudamani, Natya Padmam, extraordinary Kathak art performer and enable art administrator, a visualizer of great creative and artistic projects, Shri Pandit Guru Kastu, uh, Jant Kastuvarji. Shri Pandit J.R. Kastavarji has made an outstanding contributions to the India's performing arts as the Secretary of Chief Executive of Kendra Sangeetha Natak Academy, a position which he recently relished after over 12 years of distinguished service in order to pursue his arts and academics more seriously. We also have Abhinava Satya Bhama, Kendra Sangeetha Natak Academy awardee and, and Andhranatyam, renowned Andhranatyam exponent. Shri Guru Kalakrishna Garu. Namaskaram, sir. Namaskaram, Guruji. Namaskaram. Guruji, would you like to share the emotional rapport between you and uh, Dr. Nataraj Ramakrishna Garu? Well, I am an emotional person. If you ask me to sh share that, you may, I may actually share it with my tears. <laughs> he loved me so much like his own... Uh, know, son, disciple. Uh, I took to him like fish would take to water way back, you know, in the 80s, early 80s when I met him. And uh, as I spoke some months back in the Hyderabad University lecture, uh, that was also dedicated to Guru Nataraj. Uh, Ramakrishna Gayatri's uh, memorial, memorial lecture. lecture uh, uh, that the occasion that brought us kind of uh, made me start thinking about him and his work. And the reason behind it was his refusal, uh, not refusal, his reluctance to receive the Sangeet Nade Academy Award in early 80s, which was awarded to him for Bharatanatyam and Kuchipuri, not for Andhra Natyam. And he was quite disappointed because for years he had been working to establish Andhranatyam and Andhranatyam at that time had got sort of uh, formally uh, recognized by the Andhra Pradesh Sangeet Nitya Academy. So, uh, and that's how the story began, my relationship with him and uh, brought us together when I persuaded him, I personally came to Hyderabad from New Delhi with the Academy Award Tamra Patra and Angavastra and you know all the honors to present it to him at his residence at his home in a in a nice function with all his students and we began working because I was as a student of dance as a practitioner of dance and at that time I was heading the dance department of the Sangeet Nanati Academy so in all these capacities, I came with folded hands to Guruji. And he gave me all his blessings, his affections, his love. And he was such a person who loved his disciples. And so there was that emotional bond that's what established right from the beginning. Yes, sir. So thank you so much, sir. Uh, in Northern India, there is a concept of Garanas. Kindly enlighten us on what a gharana means and uh, what is the manner and methodology of teaching the dance forms to the disciples in gharanas. You want me to talk about North Indian traditions? Then yes, talk, sir, talk about, about the gharana concept. <laughs> you see, gharana, the word, it comes from the word ghar, griha. Griha, you know? yes, yes. And so uh, it actually relates to, therefore, the sthana, the place or where the Guru was situated, was located and where he and uh, tradition develops in that place over several generations. And this emanated from the earlier period, the modern period, where the uh, masters were brought by uh, these kings and uh, uh, the principalities 
they stayed at the king's place at that place and the art developed at that place around that master and then several generations of his disciples and his family so that place got the name of that place got attached mm. with that master's style and it started calling it gharana so like in our kathak dance a lot of work was done in lucknow at that time nawab bajid ali shah's time so the style that evolved there got to be referred to as lucknow gharana similarly in rajasthan though dancers came from different places but in jaipur a uh, uh, lot of them worked so it name came to be known as jaipur gharana so gharana but then it has its each gharana develops its own specialties own salient features technical features aesthetic concepts and a set of compositions that are made at that place so a gharana therefore is defined in terms of certain distinctive techniques that are evolved there certain special features of performance structure and all that evolves in that place then certain set of compositions that are made and practiced there by generations of disciples and therefore altogether a certain aesthetic certain aesthetic perceptions that develop there that's how a gharana therefore has its own value you have in the south or elsewhere also there are different in kathakali there are different chapters for example different southern kathakali northern kathakali that's instead of gharanas they use their own terms in bharanatyam we have banis the word the term the term bani. uses bani pandanallur okay. bani and uh, you know balavur bani and and then so on so forth so sometimes these develop more in the name of individuals and sometimes in the name of the place so in kathak we have jaipur gharana lucknow gharana banaras gharana raigad gharana where the king of raigad in early 20th century brought gurus of different gharanas and they worked together so its own style developed called raigad gharana like that you know thank you sir this is something uh, new to us and uh, we have concepts of gurukulam here exactly like garana yeah, in north yeah. india uh, in fact nataraj ramkrishna garu had addalam meda over here in uh, hyderabad so we wanted to know i mean this generation at least wanted to know about garana style and methodology of teaching <laughs> thank you sir and um, guru ji having undertaken administrative functions as a uh, secretary of uh, kendra sangeet natak academy you might have had great opportunity to critically acclaim various dance forms i would like to know you might have also seen dance formats especially the abhinaya part of andhra natyam how it has to be distinguished from one dance form to another as you yourself <laughs> Your good self is a great athletic oh exponent. <laughs> You're asking a very fine technical question. <laughs> I thought I'll be speaking about the role and contribution of Nataraj uh, <laughs> Garu, Nataraj Guruji. But you're asking for the distinctive uh, beauty of his Abhinaya style. You know, when he says that you know the Abhinaya first comes must be in the eyes, depicted through the eyes. Yes. Sir. You know. and uh, the whole story is to be told through your eyes first practically you see uh, uh it's a very big question that you are asking about various styles comparison and all uh difficult to answer straight away it will it will mean a whole long lecture when you refer to the abhinaya old abhinaya tradition of kudi art um, as then is the application kathakali abhinaya we uh, refer to the abhinaya as it is practiced and projected in the bhagavata's art of kuchipudi kuchipudi yakshagana abhinaya uh, first of all you have to understand therefore the abhinaya in terms of 
एक हार्य नृत्य बेन अभिनय परफॉर्म बेन सोलो डांस दर्ज डांसिंग एंड बेन अदरवाइज इन अ डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर लाइक यक्षगान एंड ऑल व्हेन यू कम टू द अभिनय एज इट इज इन मणिपुरी रास मणिपुरी डांस रास वेयर इट्स अ ग्रुप ग्रुप प्रेजेंटेशन देयर देयर इज अ वेरी डीपली इमोटेड एंड इमोशनली चार्ज्ड परफॉर्मेंस इट इज द दे इमोट so beautifully the abhinay has to be done just from a different point of view when you look at manipuri so uh, but let us confine ourselves to these solo dances again here when you come to solo i will say bharatanatyam andhranatyam uh, odissi these are primarily the forms related to the temple traditions the dasi traditions either as a temple ritual dances or the kachari as kachari atta you know and all so there you find that how both the uh, the bhakti and the shringara bhakti and all that remains a common ground primarily with reference to the lord with the god the dedication and surrender to the god and that's what the whole andhranatyam tradition has been you know all the uh, kalavantulus of andhra region and that is a region not just andhra when you talk of them you talk of maharashtra and the telugu region then go down to tamil region and parts of karnataka and all so this whole, where you had this temple traditions were there the temples nurtured this in odisha also so there the abhinay primarily has to be the 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 core principle of surrender has to be there to begin with now that's what the whole problem lies when you move to the stage when this becomes a form stage formally what we call art forms so you start using the english terms like art forms uh, you know not as a madhyam to uh, to please the gods to serve the gods which these arts were as medium to serve the gods in our temples so the moment you start take, taking these arts to the stage uh, the, there is this problem of retaining the original intent and purpose the original uh, value of the art when you perform on stage and how do you retain therefore the the underlying bhakti whether in terms of uh, madhura bhakti dominated by shringara or dasya bhakti or sakya bhakti or vatsalya uh, bhakti or even you know, these are various dimensions but that has to be retained that because it is difficult on stage when i doing it for the audience who come from disparate backgrounds different backgrounds they they don't always relate to what you're doing so what happens is that the dancer start starts showing it becomes a show the word show is very dangerous to our traditional arts yes sir when it's showcasing show off and dancer starts becoming you know let me not elaborate this point i hope my our viewers yes. understand what i'm yes, saying yes yes so abhinaya therefore becomes more and more difficult when you start showing off then the what is deeply felt within gets lost what must be felt deeply felt within that element of devotion starts getting lost because you are showing off on stage and you have been taught by the master the master also wants to show off his disciples how and there's a whole <laughs> you know this different sansara that gets created when you perform the stage therefore it requires a very consummate artist a master artist a very you know, like like guru ji was guru nataraj ramakrishna was guru kelucan mahapatra mahapatra was the great bala saraswati when people like these come on stage with them comes the whole temple as if 
they become deities and the devotees all they bring all that with them it is the power of their art power of their abhinay and that's what was there in guru nanak ram krishna ji though he you see he had a larger purpose he was not there to present himself he was not a former in the sense that parasaraswati was or um, some other masters were he was not a former he was in the process of consolidating this great tradition of the telugu region he was more concerned how to empower to re- recover revive this tradition and the people who represent represented the great the great women coming from those traditions use whatever name call them kalavantulu call them devadasi names bad names or whatever <laughs> dasis or the sanis or Sani. whatever i'm not bothered uh, the point is that these are great women on the one hand they were the madhyam of the devotion on the other hand in them they preserved hundreds of years of practicing tradition of dance and music so they themselves were the repositories hello can you they themselves were the representatives as well as repositories oh. of these so yes. they were so and that's what guru ji understood and guru ji wanted to bring them together he did bring them together in, in those conferences earlier they came together to decide the name andranatyam this again was a very important move when he decided that it should be called andranatyam this was to with the changing times he wanted to empower this tradition with this name just as it it had been done for the uh, dasi attam uh, of the tamil land of tamil nad nad as is called land in tamil nad sadir was called given the new name in the new context in the new structure was given the name of bharatanatyam similarly that was an important move at that time in the indian cultural history so guru ji similarly gave the name andhanatyam they said give andhanatyam institutionalize institutionalize the tradition in the new context in a beautiful way so uh, that is what was uh, uh, his his main is concern what i mean to say is that he was not concerned about projecting himself as a performer he is, he is a very lovely if you remember you know he is such a lovely physique and handsome person he was even at old age he had a style yes sir you know, the hair the like touching the hair he yeah, would know his the kind of kurtas with the, the shawl mal mal kurtas that he would wear starched and his favorite color of course blue was a favorite color he gave that blue shawl to me and, and kala krishna garu is wearing a blue i think blue today, today. <laughs> blue today so he was quite a style you know stylish first the stylistic person and a very handsome face and he knew how to do those abhinays and we recorded him for hours in hyderabad uh, central university studio and also in our sangeet nagar academy studio in delhi done in stage conferences performances so guru ji if he wanted he could just be his a master performer on stage earning name and fame all over for himself but he was a, an intellectual he was a scholar he was a, he had a background of a, that kind of education and family background so he was a leader in this cultural leader also in this field trying to lead the whole community and consolidate the scattered practices and of the the the, the community of uh, artists women artists and giving it a new name a new format so that was his remarkable contribution 
it's a uh, very kind of you and very uh, you've almost covered all the facets of uh, master garu the way he dressed the stylish uh, stylish part of master garu the scholarly part of master garu <laughs> and everything you know you're making my work very uh, oh, <laughs> no, no, please let us continue uh, maybe lakshna garu would i don't see him on the screen if he has anything to sir okay. uh, sir जैन जी नमस्कार 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 जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर विथ यू जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू ऑस्क यू सिंस यू नो अबाउट गुरु जी गुरु नटराज कृष्णा टिल वॉट यू फाइंड हिम बट हाउ इज कनेक्टेड विद द both the states and uh, as well as the sangeet natak academy of new delhi his connection with uh, sangeet natak academy new delhi because because of his services sangeet he got sangeet natak academy puraskar yeah and after that you were when you were there as secretary he got the sangeet um, ratna of the sangeet natak academy Yes. Yes. In between, ah, uh, in between about his services. If you like something, people will know. Ah, uh, through you. Okay. All right. Yes, Guruji is. You see, as I just said, Guruji was not. Ah. Uh, very can eager to present himself all over he was it was not his uh, aims and objective to make himself a popular performer a great performer all over performing that is not he, he continued to work continued to interact with us he had a series of events and seminars and conferences the sangeet nadi academy supported within andhra pradesh his his uh, urge to have andhra natyam formally recognized as a distinct dance form and included in the to be included in sangeet natak academy's uh, uh, list of classical dance forms that was his concern at that time then so uh, You see, one thing is that because of my great, my personal rapo, personal emotional links with him, artistic links with him, and because uh, he, I danced for him at his home to you know show him my dance, and so this because of that reason uh, there was a. It was like a home to me, coming to Hyderabad to be at his place whenever I could come officially, and then invited him over to our studio in Delhi to record him. Then invited him over when Dr. Prem Lata Sharma was there as vice chairman in BHU in Banaras in that uh, seminar. Uh, uh, I think it was seminar of Sangeet Ratnakaras. Uh, so. guruji later on of course he became the fellow of sangeet natak academy when you know my time there was a constant dialogue with him that i enjoyed the sangeet natak academy enjoyed and we were deeply concerned about i personally because of my my own history as a dancer my own involvement in performance of dance since 1957 i could i wanted to be always be with him in terms of learning about this great tradition of abhinaya and those uh, like he i wanted him told him that i wanted to come and spend time to learn the 33 sanchari bhavas as he had conceived and he had evolved the whole system so uh so when we talk of guruji guru nataraj ramakrishna uh, 
there's a lot of personal thing for me i would many a time forget sangeet nade can be just me as a studio dancer him as a guru <laughs> yeah that's what because when when you were when you found at hyderabad personally uh, he came because he wants to see your dance not uh, as a secretary of sangeet nade academy as an artist he wants to see your dance that's why he asked to some association to organize your and that day he was very happy because he learned yeah. kathak some kathak and he performed at nagpur and uh, yes he, yes he likes I very know. much about the drupada bani and that hindustani and it's yes. everything also uh, incorporated all those beauty in his andhra nam and he wants to develop that kind of uh, uh, music and dance in andhra natyam so he used so many ragas so many kinds of mudras and things yes, he is yes, presenting yes. malavika kingdom so he was uh, some kind of raga and he presented that uh, yes true because of his own background in kathak and his own interaction with the uh, traditional uh, uh, women performer of north indian tradition whom they were referred to as the wire for whatever they had art also he knew and he could uh, that's why there was a special uh, understanding special link that we could develop me and guruji from kathak uh, perspective but it was because of his larger point of view he had a larger vision about these artistic traditions that's what i'm trying to Uh, emphasize the importance of it. I look when I work with him. I looked at it not as just as a tradition of the Telugu region of the Telugu culture. No, for me it was a very vital segment of India's performing art traditions, cultural tradition as a whole. That is why I have been very very concerned. I have shared, if you remember. when i went for these conferences in hyderabad i am deeply concerned about uh, evolving further about consolidating further the work that he did and the whole issue of its name and things like these you know has to be taken to its logical conclusion in a positive way okay. everyone has to join hands and i i i i since i worked in the central academy part of the which is the apex body of an a part of the central government and in that process i interacted with all the state governments while dealing with their own traditions whether it is assam or manipur or odisha or kerala or andhra everywhere so i had the role the state governments and state academies have an important role to play i always used to tell people that for central sangeet natak academy uh, all india belong to sangeet natak academy and nothing belong to sangeet natak academy because the central sangeet natak academy did not even own that art of delhi that belong to delhi state we only own that one third of ravindra bhavan campus in which our office was situated but andhra government could genuinely say that all the traditions of the andhra belong to them odisha government could always say that all the traditions of odisha belongs to them so center sangeet natak academy belonged to each state all traditions therefore these state governments and state academies have a very important role to play today it is now telangana and andhra pradesh both two states i think two states should means double power not half power but double power for andhra natyam andhra natyam artists should claim double support from both the places both the states and both the states should 
much larger measure of support can be given to other Narayan tradition as also to all other traditions of uh, the Telugu Telugu people. So I think uh, okay. it's very important. Yes. We are for that, and uh, you are also uh, with us. Uh, we are waiting for that uh, situation when it comes and uh, how we, are to, we should proceed and uh, we will take maybe your advice and we are approaching all the government people also. Let us see what what is going to happen. I shall be happy to make my own contribution. I interact with all the scholars, with you as now the most leading, the senior most master of the tradition and all the scholars and other gurus and practitioners i would like to interact and like to you know, take the work join hands to take dr nashrat ramakrishna's work forward forward mm. uh, sir the uh, thing i mentioned that remains a very important thing that is the uh, great tradition when performed on stage and I have been working on it, I have worked on it, I have been teaching Abhinaya in various traditions from Assam, Manipur, Odisha to Southern, to, of course the whole Kathak areas, people of different traditions. I have worked on the compositions of uh, Manipur, of Assam, of Odisha and so uh, what I mean to say is that there's a larger view about has to be uh, taken of these arts and it's not difficult to retain the soul of these traditions even well performed on stage that effort has to be always there yes sir after uh, hearing to your uh... that's what you were Okay, sir wants to tell something. Yes. Sir, after uh, hearing to your uh, um, insights of dance, now I just want to deviate myself from the topic and I want to ask you a not very out of the topic question. What is the link between dance and dignity? Dance and dignity? D, D. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when you truly dance, you see it basically when it's true dancing, we truly dance, the joy that is there is divine, and then it's not you who's done who's dancing. You, when you dance, you are not dancing. Can you hear me? Sir, there's a disturbance, sir. I couldn't follow up. Can you? Is it I'm clear? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now it's Can clear. Sir. Now it's clear. Yes. Now it's clear? Is it? It's clear now? Can I? Can I? Shall yes, I sir. It's clear now. All right. What I'm meant to say is that. Don't look as dance. Yes, sir. As you can continue. You, you have to the... repeat a bit, sir. When you dance and you really are lost in dancing, in the joy of dancing, that anand of dancing, your body is being used by one and the only dancer. That dancer, he is the only dancer. He is dancing through you. He is dancing through you when you are honestly, truly immersed in the dance. The joy that is coming, in the, that comes in this is the divine joy. And then remember, you don't create any art. He is the only master artist. He creates through you. He, at a particular point of time, chooses you as the patra, as the medium. Through which he expresses himself. He expresses his love 
for his creations for human beings he he fills us up with all that beauty so it's just not the dignity is divinity that comes exactly sir exactly i was expecting this answer of your from you and i purposefully asked this question today <laughs> thank you sir <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much uh, and earlier yourself uh, your good self had explained uh, the rapport between you and padmashri dr nataraj ramakrishna garu so what qualities impressed you what qualities of dr nataraj ramakrishna garu impressed you <laughs> <laughs> well you see what happens is that uh, uh when you when you take to someone when you surrender yourself to someone as a friend or as a as the guru or when the guru also surrenders himself to a follower a disciple god surrendering himself to his bhakta you see when you surrender yourself everything about him is beautiful all qualities you see in him you cannot enumerate you cannot associate him with this or and not associate with him that or everything about him becomes so much more divine and beautiful so guru ji in any case was such a wonderful person so the way he he welcomed me the first time when i went with so much of humility emoting so much of affection so but remember this you know uh, when someone is truly a friend everything about him or her is beautiful everything about him or is 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 uh, is a thing of beauty so about guruji also everything about him was a thing of beauty for me all qualities all qualities with a he was sometimes i remember he when i went he was not feeling that well he was very emotional he was very tender if you remember guruji was he 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 was very internally i felt him always as a tender person very tender at heart then there in his uh, uh, in his environment he maintain that tenderness while talking to people even if so many people were there disciples there's a very remarkable thing about him never showing off as the guru maybe i don't know kala krishna ji may have, he may have been tough with kala krishna ji as the master with the beaten i don't know while teaching it is necessary the guru becomes tough sometimes but i never found him you know in the, uh, and any kind of an there's no i never found any aggression in him at any moment of time even when he was irritated in would be irritated in certain situations whatever even if you were unhappy with as i said about when he shared his unhappiness when i went to him initially about you know his uh, uh, and not have not been given him acknowledgement but there was never an aggression in his expression in his speech or so wants to tell something yes yes kala krishna garu wants to tell something is having a big a very big grin on his face now <laughs> yes kala krishna ji actually Well, not only with you, with his disciples also is not he never skipped because he is teaching he did. But other time he is almost like a mother, father, teacher, guru, like they when he is teaching he was. But the same attitude here to him is the other audience. I suppose. um when you when you met when you met few people so you met at a local place so that also was very happy so it's not uh, god god on him on that 
say Steven Kay, because a long time you he came and you handed over the uh, award to him. But he never uh, uh, thought that, uh, and he the academy like this, academy is like this. He never, never spoke about it. Never, he, never, never. He is such kind of a man, guru. Uh, we never seen uh, some other place. True, true, true. He was, he, he was the, uh, he belonged to as if a different world. As I said that he, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. You're on. Yeah, yeah. Kalakrishna ji, because when Kalakrishna Garu was speaking, it was, I was not getting him very, very Signals, yes. This was not clear. But, he, you see, he was in, in his own beautiful world. Nataraj Garu was, and then he never... And when we go to him, we also enter his world. A beautiful world that he meant around, you know, around him. A, a world of affection and love and devotion and uh, art. You know, he maintained that that kind of atmosphere was there. And I said, never, since he was never in the business of of a show, showing off, showcasing his art, or, he was never in that kind of a business. Therefore, he that, that kind of a effort to project himself, I never felt. It was all... Uh, sort of uh, humility and uh, uh, accepting. You know, that, uh, these are some very rare qualities. That, um, I have, as I, as you know, I have traveled all over the world, all over the all over the country. Uh, work intensely with lots and lots of masters of different traditions down from Kerala up to Kashmir, as it is said, you know. And so, we, but I have, I did actually interact with artists of all these regions. Very few I would find have that kind of humility, that kind of uh, tenderness in his being, in his very being. Very rare, 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 I, very rare quality I found. So nice. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So nice to hear Thank you all much, those sir. delightful. <laughs> so Thank to you speak. very much, Dancy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you you uh, were uh, session with him and his rap with him and his uh, success. You understood. And uh, one thing I'm happy is we did not uh, take the other. Uh, from uh, academy cheese, but when you gave that uh, 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 award to him at my at our place, he yeah. was very happy. And when he got the academy ratna, he uh. wants to take uh, in front of uh, in front of all of you and all other dignitaries. Unfortunately, it was not happened. That is only the unhappy for us because he did yes. not uh, got. That uh, about the you were the greatest and uh, amongst you people. But is, we are fortunate at least from that uh, institution as a representative. You gave the award to him. Smell it. I know we missed him. We missed him. I know he was. He would have. He really wanted to come and see when he became the academy fellow, academy ratna. Uh, I was also very keen that he. Come. Uh, yes, I I was not present at that when that was uh, uh, given to him. But I let us I let us we all not just have uh, this occasional meeting uh, ritual of presenting our tributes to him or remembering him. I think the true tribute and uh, uh, would be that we 
the 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 effort, the movement that he started, we the we should take it forward. <clears throat> His work has to be taken to its own logical conclusion. And I would love to come and work with you, Kalakrishna Garu, and uh, your senior disciples and scholars and all of them. Uh, share my experience uh, to take Andhanatyam forward. Thank you, sir. Uh, and uh, one last question from my side. Yes. <laughs> with, with huge respects, uh, our audience wants want to watch you perform Abhinaya. Please, please, please. Please, I'm requesting you. Oh, no. no, 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 no. You see, it's as I said to tell the audience, all my uh, beautiful friends who are watching, that, you know, it's not right to ask someone just like that. You know, first thing when you do Abhinay, let me tell, share this thing, with, you know, is first close your eyes, imagine the whole scenario scenario and the vision that vision which you have to depict you know that that's seen that so that takes time you know you have to uh, sort of uh, transform yourself from iha loka iha loka to that uh, gandharva loka you know to be able to do that abhinay otherwise it becomes very realistic you know <laughs> And, uh, you know, I have been asked in India and abroad also uh, while in these TV interviews uh, to show off and uh, to show and I tried to show. I was quite unhappy about doing Abhinay like that, off the cuff. I don't do things off the cuff like that. So, uh, it's difficult right away. <laughs> no problem, sir. <laughs> It's okay, sir. For that, for that, you have to, we have to prepare ourselves. You have to, we zoom in again in a separate session with all your viewers. Well, I prepare uh, certain compositions and try and, you know, offer those compositions in memory, you know, of Guru Natraj Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, since uh, Guruji has left and he'll come back again, I'll take another question. Yeah. Uh, a general question to this generation of dancers. So you have uh, undergone rigorous training under Pandit Lurgalalji. So what type of attitude the disciple should exhibit for receiving the blessings of the Guru? Surrender. No other see the first thing is when you go to a guru you see when i went to the great master pandit Dungalalji, that was before that i had done my lot of studies academically i was already a postgraduate at that time and i had been performing from birth practically because dance classes were held at my home uh, a lot of gurus will teach all things. When I was still not born, I was in my mother's home. So I started learning dance when, in, from my mother's home and started dancing on stage within two years of being born. So I was performing from 1957 already, much before I came to Guru Durga Lalji. Okay. So I was already a master performer in the 1960s in major music conferences in Kolkata, in Patna, in Eastern India primarily. Three hours, four hours of Kathak in the old traditional style I used to do. So that was like a child's thing at the youth, Kishora Vastha, Balya Vastha, Kishora Vastha, and in uh, Yuva Vastha. And you Avastha, then later I come to Guruji, Guru Pandit Durga Lalji. I knew when I came, Shashtang Dandavat, not physically also, but mentally. You have to surrender when you go to a master, not, not know 
no matter what is your age no matter how much of experience of how many performances all over the world you have done when you yes. go to a master to guru you have to surrender completely and only when you surrender yourself completely empty yourself completely of your ahankara of your instinct that you become not just a supatra you become a swarna patra in which the guru will pour his art wow 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 <laughs> this is what Sir. i tell all the students even today i am a student at my age if i go and you know learn i i i i cannot formally you know but when i go to watch such a master i cleans myself completely of my ego my ahankara become like a, a child you know to be able to Extract, receive from yes. receive you know receive. to grab to, to almost like a greedy a greedy young boy i would like to grab the beauty of that dancer you know, you know or that guru that master so you have to have that kind of attitude thirst of knowledge thirst of uh, learning new things from the guru and uh, yeah that yeah. should that should happen forever <laughs> yeah the, uh, thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much it was very motivational and uh, very um, you have you've given many insights about dance and uh, very different um, what should i say different aspects of uh, guru natraj ramkrishnagaru different um, um how do i tell sir you've touched all phases of his life you've touched the disappointments you've touched the uh, every area you've touched the teaching style you've touched the stylish parts of master garu the way he walks the way he the, his attire the way he speaks the way he communicates the philosophical uh, Uh, aspect of guru gar everything was it is completely covered today okay yeah, sir, uh, just one second sir if you don't mind i'll call krishna sir and uh, tell him to come online yes he just yes. left by mistake like some technical issue just yes. just yes. one minute you must have him uh. yes sir One second, please don't mind. Uh, it's very i actually wanted uh, to uh, have your both conversations and everything 
but uh, very unfortunately this has happened maybe another uh, time another time you will have yes to. another session if another session. you have to please uh, kindly give a permission another permission to uh, sure 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 it'll be a have pleasure a session with you. you see i would like uh, another session or you know where there is a more concrete and practical discussion on andranatyam its present status and its future 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 i do want to reach out to telugu people are uh, not giving it adequate value not understanding the worth the value of this it happens when you own something you start taking it for granted so the telugu people would take it for granted but it's is how important it is and it's not important to waste your energy quarreling on its over its name its formal outer formal look uh you know not that is the the core content of it that it represents call it by whatever name you wish and have an an interpret that content again in different slightly different styles each one can do because we have that let me tell you people that within my own jaipur gharana tradition there are different families have different stylistic features then within the my guru parampara of pandit durgalal ji's parampara senior disciples they have all further evolved in their own ways giving it uh, different interpretations so these things will happen to a living tradition to a constantly thriving tradition and that's what it should not become a dead tradition there will be different kinds of interpretations but society to whom it belongs the people of the telugu region have to own it I have to give you importance and support and resources to this great tradition. This has to be discussed. You know how to go about it with Kala Krishna Gadu and with others. So thank you so much, sir, uh, for giving your valuable time. We feel so blessed to have you today in this interaction with in my, my series. Uh, and being uh, disciples of uh, padmashri dr nataraja ramkrishna garu and uh, kala krishna garu uh, it is very uh, extremely happy to listen to your delightful words about our guru about our guru our guru <laughs> uh, it is it was very happy it is very extremely pleasant and uh, amazing session we had today in the series because yesterday we had a very emotional uh, lecture by tk shridhar garu and today it was a very pleasant and uh, my uh, the face on my smile did not fade all through the session today <laughs> it was very nice uh, it was thank very you glad thank to, you <laughs> i am very so glad happy. to meet you in this that online pleasure, session <laughs> that thank my pleasure you. i am so happy you invited me <laughs> Oh. Zoomed in <laughs> to me, and, <laughs> and uh, I would personally like to meet you once I'm in uh, Delhi. Whenever I, I come to Delhi, I'd personally meet you and personally interact with you, and uh, know more uh, intricacies of dance and insights of dance <laughs> in your style. Sir. Most Thank welcome. You most so welcome. Much. Most welcome. Thank you so my, much. You convey my my regards to all the viewers, all those who are participating in this meeting. my best wishes to all of them i look forward to interacting with all of them from time to time thank you thank you thank you sir and pay my you. regards we lost link with uh, yes, like krishna ji yes sir please can be my regards to him. yes sir uh, that's today's guest lecture series tomorrow we have uh, dr gopinath reddy garu in the fifth day if i'm not wrong sixth day i'm sorry in the sixth day uh guest lecture series until then thank you good night thank you once again sir thank you